Hello there, my name is Sharon, and I'm here with Talia Bauer, author on organizational behavior, co-author on principles of management, and co-author on our first graphic novel, Atlas Black, Managing to Succeed. All of those are here with Flat World Knowledge, and we're proud to have her. Hi, Talia. Hi, Sharon. Is this the first textbook that you've published? Or the first textbooks yeah. that you've published, I should say? Absolutely. Um, these are the first um, textbooks that I've ever written. I've lo- written a lot of book chapters before and, uh, and um, refereed journal publications, but this is the first time I've written textbooks. So going from zero to three in two years has been pretty exciting. Yes, we've been keeping you busy, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, so most of the people who are listening to this podcast today are probably doing so because they're considering writing. So can you tell them what made you finally decide to publish and to publish with Flat World Knowledge? Yeah, that's a great question. I was uh, approached by some of the large publishing firms about um, publishing an organizational uh, behavior textbook. And as I thought about it more and more, I knew that I wanted to get the information out there. I wanted to communicate um, kind of the best of what I've learned about OB to students. But I didn't want to write just another, in quotes, textbook. There are a lot of textbooks out there, and why would someone read mine versus another one? And so it had to be, there had to be something compelling about it, because going through all that work and yet not having anyone read it um, didn't make any sense to me. So that was a huge issue. And so when I heard about the Flat World model, it just struck a chord with me immediately. Um, you know, here was a reason for somebody to take a look. Here was something that was being reinvented. Um, and also it solved a lot of the problems that I've seen with textbooks over the years. You know, this idea of the forced revisions and every two years or every year, year and a half now, um, some books have even gone to revis- revisions that don't do a lot of value added, um, but, you know, kind of makes sense for the business model for the faculty who write them and for the textbook publishers, but not for the faculty who use them or the students. So that was a big thing. And it's just been really fun, I have to say. Um, you know, it's a good feeling to have the information available for free um, to students. So on... on um, Saturday, I was actually at a day-long residency on power and politics that I was teaching with MBA students. And it was just fabulous to be able to say as issues came up, um, you know, to talk about a lot of other things that were available on the Flat World site. You know, to be able to point them to the communications chapter or the negotiations chapter or the conflict chapter um, so that if they wanted to work on their skills, they had that available for free, but it wasn't necessarily something that they were going to go out of their way to purchase or that was assigned for the class formally. So those are a lot of the reasons. And then the, the final fourth reason that I just have loved the experience is this idea of leveraging the technology that's out there. You know, there's so many new technologies every day, and to be able to leverage that in the best way for faculty and students has just been really fun um, and cutting edge to, to be involved in that process. Well, Talia, that's, that's fabulous. And like I said initially, we're, we're so happy that you chose to publish all three of these textbooks and work on them here with us at Flat World Knowledge. Um, thank you for your time today, your dedication to your students, and of course for publishing with Flat World. Bye now. Bye.